Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the graphical representation of the time scaling property of a Fourier transform. Here we have the property, and notice what we said in the previous video when we scale the time, when this number is greater than 1, it has two effects on the Fourier transform. First of all, it decreases the amplitude of the Fourier transform by the same quantity, 1 over that, and the second effect is that it spreads out the frequency domain. So if we ch uh, change the time scaling, when we go from f of t to f of 2t, in essence, it shortens the pulse because you speed up the pulse, for example, you get there quicker, and so the effect is that the pulse will be narrower. A narrower pulse means that you're going to spread out the frequency in the Fourier transform, in the frequency domain, when you take the Fourier transform. The second effect is a shorter pulse will also cause the amplitude to go down, Basically, you get less of a signal, and so if this was a signal processing event, then less of a signal strength here because it goes quicker. That means you'll have less of an amplitude in the frequency domain. So those are the two effects that you get when you do a time scaling event in your input function relative to the Fourier transform in the output function. And that's how you can see graphically or visually the difference between the two. That's how it works in Fourier transforms.